typically I am out for a run on Saturdays. This is usually my long run, but I have been building up some tightness for the last two years, almost probably because of the COVID and not going to the RMT. And so now I'm getting to the point where I'm just, just getting close enough to getting an injury because I'm that tight. So I managed to uh, score me a script for physio, but I just went to the massage therapist. And typically I call him the torturer because I scream a lot. Um, I just got the initial tenderizing treatment and I'll be going back for more. <laughs> Because why not? And while I'm here, I thought I'd go into a store and get myself some tights because it's been a hot minute since I got myself some long tights. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to try some stuff on, and then I'm going to overdub my commentary because you're probably not going to be able to hear me with my mask on. All right, let's go in. We're heading into the Dixie Valley Mall Clearance Center where I'm going to give a quick rundown of the pieces I pulled. I have first an outer layer, windbreaker, a nice burnt orange, and another windbreaker overlayer. Both of them are pretty baggy. And an underlayer, again, baggier fit. Usually I pick more of the form fitting ones, but these ones looked interesting. And here's a two pairs of tights with kind of like this color blocking thing going on. So this one was an asymmetrical zipper on it, which kind of was a pain in the butt to put together. I like that it covers the butt for the winter running. I like that it has a hood. Everything was baggy for me. I picked medium for the most part. And this is the first pair of tights. I don't like their tights. I find them thin and the whole blocking of the, the fabric, it's just not flattering at all. So I didn't like that. This windbreaker was pretty good. Still got the baggy business. And then you go to the side and you'll see that it also covers the butt. Very long in the arms, but I'm a short person. So, you know, what can you do? So that one was good. And here's another under layer with the tights with the patchwork. So you're seeing both of them. The under layer was not too bad. I ended up taking this one, I believe. And it's got those thumb cut out, which I really, really like for the winter time. So you could double it as kind of like a like a glove. But the tights were, no, not flattering at all. But this one, it was a weird material that barely stretched and it didn't move very well with the body and I could barely get my head through. So it was, it was really weird and I wouldn't recommend it, at least not for running anyway. So uh, I just got out and out of the six items that I chose to try on, I took two of the layers. The orange layer was kind of weird and it was still $74. And this is from an outlet store at Dixie Value Mall, which I thought was supposed to be closing for more condos. Somebody's revving their car. Like, are, like how pathetic are you that you have to rev your car in a parking lot? Anyway, um, the other shirt that I didn't pick, I took one under layer. The one that was not so much woven, it was actually hard to get over my head. I do have a big head, however, it shouldn't be that tight. And it just seemed like the arms were super long. They weren't very, it wasn't very flexible. I can't see that being a good layer for running. The other one that was woven, I took because it seemed to be something I could wear every day anyway, but it was also that dry weave, dry fit, whatever that is that they have in their proprietary line for wicking and whatnot. So I think that'd be a good underlayer and also can double as a shirt that I could wear every day if I wanted to. I did take an overlayer. The pink and white one that one worked really well i like that both of them had the tail that'll cover your butt which is good wind resistance in the winter because we all know that everything gets hot on me except for my ass. and the tights are fugly like buffugly okay this brand is is just for being well known it, it kind of annoys me that the quality of the tights are so crappy they're very thin and you know i know i've gained a little bit of weight kind of but i just find that their tights are poor quality so at the end of the day the higher quality stuff that you would get at a running store it just seems a lot better especially if you're going to be stretching it the way i do 
you might want to have something that's going to have a little less transparency. And uh, I haven't done one of these uh, shop with me videos in a long time. I figured I'd do it. It's been a long time. I have no makeup on. I'm sorry for the visuals, but you know, tough luck. On the next one, we will see you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Bye.